Blogilates.com, I've created the perfect bikini boot camp for you. So it's six super easy but really intense and effective moves that will get you toned and ready for that bikini bot. So let's get down on the mat and let's kill it together. So your first move is my favorite, the tricep kick and dip. It's going to target the back of your arms and your legs at the same time, so the double whammy move. And all I want you to do is to bring your fingers forward and come on to all fours, okay? So make sure your hips are up, stomach is in, nice and tight, fingers forward. You're going to reach out one leg, okay? Point those toes, and as you come down into a tricep kip, I want you to keep up that leg and push it right back, okay? We're going to go ahead and do quite a bit on this side, and you're going to kick it up and down, and up and down. So a few things to keep in mind here. I really want you to be graceful with that leg. Come down low with your elbows, okay? If this is too difficult for you, feel free to omit the kick part and just do the dip part. Okay, three more. And three. Make sure you're bending those elbows. Two, last one. And one, pointing the toe, bring it back in. Other side, here we go. And up and down. Belly button in, right? Okay, don't let those arms get sore just yet. We've got a whole workout for you right here. Picking it up and down, pointing your toe, bending those elbows, nice and strong. You guys look awesome. And a few more. Give me three and two. Last one. Kick it high. Kick and bring it down low. And slowly sit your butt down with control. And bring your hands forward and put your chin into your chest and slowly roll down with control. There we go, hands right by your sides. I want you to bring your legs close together so the knees are touching, the heels are touching, okay? And I want you to pick your belly button up one by one until that weight is all the way on your upper back, okay? Fingers forward. Now, reach that leg long, bring it all the way up, pointing towards the sky or the ceiling if you're inside the house, okay? now. Make sure your hip is up. Make sure that butt is up. I want you to now come halfway down and push all the way back up, okay? Down and up. That's it. So this is going to work your glutes and your hamstrings, making that tushy and just, you know, your whole back um, area look really nice. Up and down. Pushing up and down. So we're going to do high repetitions on this one. Um, and I want you to feel this. I want you to feel this really good. Okay, push up as high as you can. Keep reaching. Belly button in, as always, with Pilates. Good. Point the toe. Give me five. And four. Come on. Three. And two. Let that butt burn. And one. And bring that leg all the way down. Heels together, knees together. Pushy up. Legs out, other side, gotta balance it out. Here we go, reaching the leg long, but down and up, halfway down, all the way up. Uh, I really like this move, but I like all the moves. Okay, keep going, up and down, reaching higher. Really try to keep your toes pointed, you really wanna to tone that whole leg. Okay, plus it looks really nice anyway, good. But burning yet on this side, whoo, cause mine is okay. Give me five and four, push a little bit higher. Three and two, come on, one more. One all the way to the sky, bring it down, legs together and slowly press that spine into the mat. Bring those legs all the way out, extend the hands long behind you. Inhale through the nose. On the exhale, peel your back off the mat one by one, like you're peeling a sticker off of the sticker book page, hands down by your side. Now we're going to go into one of the most graceful Pilates moves that I know of, called the ballerina twist. So what I want you to do is to get into a side plank position. One leg in front of the other, preferably that top leg, okay? Hands right underneath your shoulder blade. And I want you to sweep up in one graceful move, lift your hip off of the mat, okay? Just like that. Now, if this is difficult for you, feel free to come onto the elbow if your wrist is hurting and stay on the knees, all right? So that's your modification. All right, so you're gonna pretend you're gonna thread something underneath you, use your abs, thread underneath the arm, push your butt up into the air, and then reach 
all the way back up. That's it. Okay, squeezing the abs, reach under, and then all the way up into the sky. Really feel that stretch. It's amazing. And coming in. And then pushing yourself all the way up. If your wrist begins to hurt, and if it's your first time performing Pilates, um, this is totally normal. So come down onto your elbow. It's really okay. Okay, and as you continue to do these moves, you will develop strength in your core and in all the other muscles in your body. You'll just start getting used to it. Nice and slow. We're going to take this super gracefully with control. Bringing that butt up, you want to pike it into the air. Go ahead and give me three more, guys. And bring it down low. Push yourself all the way up. Really suck that belly button into the spine. And how about one more? Let's do this. This is totally getting your obliques, by the way. And down. And bring it all the way up. Sit it down. Very nice. Same thing, extend those legs long, reach your hand all the way up into the air, okay? Let's power through. Thread that needle right underneath you, threading, and pushing the butt up, squeezing your abs, reaching those fingers long. You guys look so good, I know you do. Inhale down, and exhale, reach it up. Belly button tight. Why do I keep saying belly button tight? Well, have you ever seen those people who seem like they're pretty ripped and then they turn to the sides and then you're like, whoa, why does it stick out? Um, that's because they're not sucking their belly button in. We want to train our abs to be flat. So even if you're not working out or doing Pilates throughout the day, feel free to just suck it in. It's like doing a crunch the whole day, okay? And it makes you feel slimmer in your skinny jeans. Inhale down, little check for you. And bring it up. Nice flowy fingers, right? Inhale down. Okay. And up. How about you give me three more? Okay, come on, pick it up. And reach. This is really enjoyable for me. And one more, guys. But straight into the air. Let's go. Hits up. and come down onto your side. Nice, well-defined and toned shoulders are signs of a person who works out and keeps fit. So, go onto all fours, okay? We're gonna go into the inverted push-up. This is push-ups taken to a whole nother level, trust me. So, see how I'm like in a regular plank right now? That is not how we're gonna stay. I want you to bring your hands back one and two, okay? Maybe even a half. Right there. Okay. So you're now kind of like in a really squished downward dog. And what I need you to do is to look back at your toes, okay? Now this is not doing a push-up in the wrong position. Oh, trust me, this is the right position. Keep those heels in place. All I need you to do is touch that head down to the mat. Touch it down and up. Did you feel the shoulders on that first one? Well, guys, we're gonna have to do a ton more. Here we go. Inhale down, exhale up. Inhale down, exhale up. While you keep those heels in place, while you suck your belly button in, okay? Whew, I am feeling this. Very nice. Who wants nice shoulders? We all do. Come on, push through with me. Give me five. And four. Let it burn. Three, keep looking back. And two, one more. One and bring it down onto the knees. Awesome job. It is core strengthening time. So we are gonna do butt ups, but it's actually more about your abs than your butt. You just actually bring your butt up into the air. Okay, so this is what you're gonna do. You are going to get into a plank, okay? And then you're gonna lower yourself down onto your elbows, all right? So obviously, I'm sure a ton of you are already familiar with planks. Um, we're gonna take this plank to the next level. We are going to bring our butt up into the air, just like this, and press it all the way down. That's all you gotta do. Squeezing that core nice and tight. Lift up, squeeze, and take it slow, all the way down. 
Push it up. And slowly. Very nice. So, keep those heels in place just like I said, so that all of that work goes straight into your core, okay? This is an excellent core straight that will get you toned and in shape. Ready for all the more advanced Pilates moves that I will be teaching you soon and later on. And bring it up and press it down. Tailbone so tuck, right? Good form. Let's go. Press. Come on. Slow. Take your time. How about three more? Come on. Higher. And press it down. Legs straight. Last two. One more. Give me that big inhale. And then exhale. Hold it. Hold it, hold it, hold it. For five, you can give me an impromptu plank. Four. And three. And two. Last one. One. And bring it all the way down. So I want you to come back onto your butt. Okay, legs all the way out. Hands forward, we're gonna lie down all nice and Pilates style. So go ahead and lay the vertebra one by one down like a strand of curls. Okay, very good. Now, we're gonna bring those knees into tabletop position, belly button all the way nice and tucked. Inhale through the nose. On the exhale, we're gonna take it into Pilates stance, okay? Pilates stance basically is shoulders up, um, chest nice and open, belly button in, okay? Hands forward. Now, bring those hands right by your ears, and at the same time, I want you to reach out the legs and reach out the arms. Are you shaking yet? Maybe a little bit, but I'm gonna make you shake even more. So, stay right there, and we are gonna start running those legs, okay? So, up and down they go. You are now running. That's right. Keep your shoulders up. Belly button tuck. Are they burning? Oh, because mine are. Now, if this is a little bit too intense, either stay right here or bring the knees in and just lift up and down. But make sure um, you're gonna pretend like there's a cast around your knee so you're not fluttering like this. You're actually moving that whole unit, okay? Okay, now my legs are still straight. I'm still fluttering and I'm still burning my abs, I love it. Okay, I'm counting 10, let's go. 10, nine, eight, seven for the win. Six, five, four, three, long arms, long legs, two, one. Bring your knees in and head down. Oh my God, great job guys. All right, you just finished your bikini boot camp. Actually, you have to do that two more times, you're not done yet. Okay, so replay a couple more times, and then let me know if you felt that burn. I hope you did, because I already felt it in that one session. All right, bikini body time. Let's go, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.